What's up, guys? It's G Man, Steel City RC. I'm doing a video on my low CDBXLE. Um, I uh, wanted to, to put a new chassis on it, guys. Okay, it's pretty hammered up. I've had that chassis a couple years, so it's in really rough shape. Um, all the terrain that I drive on, man, there's a bunch of rocks and stuff, and I just drive that thing wherever. So let's just go over this. Here's the old chassis. I basically took the end, the motor and stuff off of it. Um, as you can see, it's pretty hammered. Um, I'm just going to switch all this stuff over. Um, sorry, the lighting sucks over here, but hear that diff in there? So I'm going to go through that. I got another ring and pinion for it. That don't sound too healthy. You got to figure, I got about a year and a half since I built this, so you can't really complain running eight ass beating on it like I do. But it seems like the front sounds pretty good. Still kind of, yeah, somewhat quiet. Um, I'm gonna put new bearings and stuff in it once I, yeah, I'm gonna just go through the whole thing, put new bearings in it. I think this one here is gonna be fine. I think we'll be all right with just reusing all the gears in there. But uh, I'll put a, actually I have a used one. It was only like maybe two packs I used them. So uh, I'll show you here in a second, but I'll just put new bearings and I'll put them used uh, gears in there. I got new arms and stuff to put on here. I'm gonna make some, make some new covers for, you know, uh, some rock cards for the arms and stuff. These are going, I'm DJI arms, they're shot. Well, look at this. See the play in that? Both sides are the same way, man. Shot. I mean, yeah, it's a year and a half, but come on, man. Gone. So they're all pummeled from rocks. As you can see, them guards did nothing. They don't come up high enough. It needs to be up here, so I'm going to make them, you know, so it comes straight across right there. Um, re put new boots and stuff on it, but. Uh, I'm gonna reuse most of the stuff. I think he's, these braces and stuff are still okay. The steering system's fine. Um, take a look at the bottom though. Where do you see this? I thought it got hammered. That chassis's in pretty rough shape. Definitely seen better days, huh? So that's why I'm doing it. So here's the new chassis. Um, go over a couple of the things I did to this. Um, I'm going with the, the FID center diff mount slash engine their motor mount. I keep saying engine because I'm a fifth scale gasser guy, but anyways, that's the FID. Um, reusing the DBX. I rebuilt this already. The center diff. Um, but you will notice there's a mount on the back now. Okay, all that is is one of them clamp style. Just clamps around there. And it's sitting flush on that chassis. As you can see, I got two black marks on it. And those two, that's just from a, that's just from a um, Sharpie. That's where the screws are. There's two screws that go up from the bottom. I'll show you what I did here once I turn this around and show you. But yeah, as you see, it sits flush on the chassis there. And it just clamps on. You got your screw there. So we got it bolted here and the two bolts in the front. So I'm hoping, <laughs> I noticed whenever I, I beat on this thing, guys, if you guys have seen any of my videos or whatever, but I beat on this thing pretty bad. And as soon as I start jumping it hard, I lose my mesh here. But that sounds pretty good where I got it right now. Sounds like it's the same the whole way around. 
Got that slight click to it, you know? I don't know how you guys do it, but that's how I do it. I go, I'll look in there and I'll try to get, you know, try to get an eyeball if it'll ever focus. Like get some light through the two gears and just see a wee little bit of light through the tooth from the pinion where it goes into the spur. But actually, I like the sound uh, method best. Hearing that little bit of click and then rotate it, you know, a couple different places and see if the sound's the same everywhere. And then again, I'm just, all I'm doing is rotating the, uh, rotating the spur just a little bit, you know, rocking it back and forth. So, all right, let me flip it over. I'll show you guys what I did underneath here. Um, which kind of scared me, but you know what? It is what it is. It's not the best work in the world, but I did it. Okay. What I had to do, obviously slotted the chassis on the bottom to fit this flathead screw in there. And then I, um, used that inner, this inner portion here. How it has that cha that chassis support that they put on these DBXLEs to quote unquote fix what the DBXL problem was. Anyways, I slotted this part to allow this motor mount in the rear to slide, you know, back and forth with the mesh of this because that's all it does is just slide back and forth. And I just, like I said there, slotted it, used some flathead bolts. I mean, that's actually below the chest, you know, but actually my grinding skills and everything else is better than my cutting skills with the uh, Celotex knife uh, trying to get the chassis protector uh, cut. But I got the chassis protector from Dark Side. Let's see if I can get this. What is that, Dark Side? Can you read that, guys? But it's it was expensive and um it obviously is not for this car this is for the dbxl shouldn't have these holes and slots man half the holes for the motor mounts weren't there i had to actually cut them out myself as you can see yeah, that's for the chassis brace in the front that wasn't there because you can see where the holes are here for the original ch uh dbxl well whatever we're gonna make it work it's gonna be hopefully better than that other one <clears throat> as you can see or I showed you earlier all right guys um just wanted to give you guys a quick update man I'm gonna go ahead and throw everything belt else back from that onto here once I rebuild the diffs that servo is fine you know everything's pretty good except for the, the diffs need service I'm gonna go ahead and go through the shocks too but uh I'm liking this um I'm liking this motor mount and I'm liking that rear bracket I put on there man that seems like it's turning out pretty well I'm gonna make something for a fan here put one of them big fans here like you know one of them big like 60 millimeter ones or something make a shroud or something for it yeah that's just the ideas I have guys all right guys well it's g man again thanks for watching man i uh hopefully we get this thing running back on the road here real soon guys um i'm excited it's gonna be ripping hopefully hopefully this all works out for me man thanks for watching